Hi and welcome to a 5 minute demonstration showing you how to control sales turnover stock and profit with EasyPause. To start the program double click the shortcut on the desktop. You can log into EasyPause by entering a password or scanning an access card which is generated and printed with EasyPause. This eliminates the use of type passwords. The default administrator password is 1234. The program will open up onto the sales screen. To add or edit items or to view reporting, you do this via the back office. Let's add an item. Let's keep it simple. In the barcode field, if the item or product has a barcode, you can scan that barcode into the barcode field. Alternatively, you can use EasyPost to generate the barcode um, number for you, which can then be printed. For the sake of the demonstration, let's generate the barcode. Enter your cost price excluding VAT or tax. Enter your selling price including VAT or tax. Select the rele relevant VAT or tax rate. EasyPos groups items by supply and by department and this is for item sales reporting purposes and stock on hand reporting purposes. To edit the supplier simply click on the new edit button, enter the relevant detail and then save and update the record. The same logic applies for departments. To enter stock on a specific item, the stock value, enter the quantity, click on add to stock, we now have 20 of these items in stock. Let's save and update this record and let's print the barcode. For the sake of the demonstration, we're just going to print it on the receipt printer. Let's go and sell that item in the point of sale. Let's log on again, one, two, three, four. What we'll do is we'll just scan the barcode that we've just printed. There it is there. Let's finalize the sale by cash. To do that, if you were using a touch screen, you could just touch the cash button, or you can use the mouse to click the cash button, or you could just use the keyboard shortcut, uh, which for cash is plus. And so they gave us 50. It'll show you the change. The receipt will print and the cash drawer will open. Let's ring up another sale. Ring up the Coke again. This time we'll change the quantity on the item. To do that, either touch or click on the item, Enter the relevant quantity and let's sell an item by listing an item and let's take payment by card this time. To do that either touch the card button or, or click the, the card button and let's enter a value for the card sale. The receipt will print and the cash drawer will open. To cash the system up, you do this through the cash up report, turnover report. Okay, as you can see, we have a cash total of 20 Rand and a card total of 75, a bankable total of 95 Rand. Um, we, for, for the sake of the, because we're keeping the demonstration simple, we're going to ignore this and just look at the bottom of the receipt. So this is the, the first receipt number, the date and time, and the last receipt number, date and time. To clear, this, to clear these sales, to cash this up completely, you can either do this by clicking on the clear sales button here from the point of sale, or you can run a day in from the back office. For the sake of the demonstration, I'm just going to clear the cells here. This will clear the cells so that they, they clear so that you can trade for the next day. So if we go back and look at the report, you'll see it's clear. Let's go to the back office and look at the reporting. First of all, click on reports, item sales reports. So your item sales reports can be, can be grouped by, by any date range that you choose. Um, for the sake of the demonstration, I'm just going to be using today's date. This report can then also be grouped by department and by supplier. So let's just look at the Coke. Um, our sale price was 20 Rand, our cost price was uh, 5 Rand 20, the quantity we sold was 4, our cost total was 20 Rand 80 cents, um, sales total was 69.57, and our profit was 48.77. These figures. Um, include the VAT calculation if the product is, is VATable. Um, these figures are then also then summarized at the bottom of the report or an end, and at the bottom of the screen. This report can be printed to an A4 printer or exported to Excel. Let's close that report. And let's go and look at the stock on hand reports. This, the stock on hand report can also be, be viewed by a supplier. 
So if we look at the, the product that we entered, the Coke, um, cost is 5 Rand 20. We have 16 of these, these um, Cokes on hand. This is the last time the stock was adjusted. This is the last time the stock was sold. This is the current stock cost. This is the potential sales value, and that's the potential profit. Obviously, the, the, with all the information then being summarized at the bottom of the report, at the bottom of the screen, this report can also then be um, printed or, or exported to Excel. Thanks for watching. That's basically how you control turnover, stock, and profit with EasyPause.